It's the Sig Sauer P365 versus Springfield Hellcat. So this was honestly one of the best comparisons we've had the chance to do, and the reason is, they're both great pistols, especially for CCW purposes. But who will reign supreme? Will it be the Sig P365, or the Challenger, the Springfield Hellcat? So if you've been up to date on Springfield Armory, you are probably well aware of the teasers that were sent out prior to the release of the new Hellcat. Their new release was touted to be a world leader in its class, and with the teaser's urban imagery, it leads us to believe that a new CCW was on the horizon. And just how right we were. The Hellcat was released. It's a micro 9mm pistol with a monstrous carrying capacity. Once we got hands on the Hellcat, his eyes lit up like a Christmas tree. However, he managed to hold back his emotions. We still needed to put it to the test, and against the reigning CCW champion at that. So, can the Hellcat do the same to the P365? Well, we put it to the test and determined it's a great gun, an excellent gun at that. But was it good enough to dethrone the king? Now let's get down to business. Next you'll find some of our defining features, pros slash cons, and what we did and didn't like about each gun. Plus we've thrown in a bunch of sweet comparison pictures between the two, so you can finally see what we mean. The Sig Sauer P365 is an excellent pistol known for its reliable performance and accuracy. We dive into this firearm to see if it lives up to our expectations. We really like this gun. Most of the time, you'll prefer a full-sized version of a firearm over its smaller counterpart. When it comes to the P365, this is the gun we'd rather have. Seriously, the P365 is one of our absolute favorites. What we like about the Sig Sauer P365 The first thing that stood out to us about the P365 is just how natural the gun feels in your hand. It truly feels like an extension of your arm. You'll feel confident that you are in complete control of the weapon when you handle it, and that's very important. When firing the gun, the trigger is nice and crisp with a very nice reset. I feel like it will be easier to fire for those with smaller hands, but it's still rugged enough for those of you with bare paws. And the x-ray sights? Those might be one of the major factors along with that trigger pull for the remarkable accuracy we get from this gun. All in all, we feel safe with this gun. One that we trust our lives and families with. What we don't like about the P365. There are a few issues with the P365 though. First, I really think SIG can revisit the finish that comes on their magazines. While I haven't quite experienced it myself, there are reports that the magazines are susceptible to rust. Another problem is for first and second gen owners only. This being a primer drag issue that can cause the firing pin to break. SIG has since resolved the dilemma with its subsequent releases. The Springfield Armory Hellcat is a micro 9mm pistol with huge capacity. It holds 11 plus 1 rounds of 9mm with a flush magazine and 13 plus 1 rounds of 9mm with the extended magazine. Let us dive into its features and we'll give you one take on this pistol. When we unboxed our Hellcat, it really was a real treat. Not really knowing what to expect, we found this gun is full of awesome surprises. What we like about the Springfield Hellcat Right out of the box, we noticed two things in particular. First, the wrap around the slide serrations. These provided a great grip option without a red dot optic system. Speaking of, the gun comes pre-drilled for red dot optics. We all know red dot is the way of the future on pistols. It's nice to see that Springfield made it readily accessible out of the gate. Another thing that's really unique about the Hellcat is that it comes with a full-sized accessory rail. This means you can easily customize with any standard accessories. Thumbs up to Springfield. Aside from that, the gun is extremely accurate and we had no reliability issues when firing. 
what we don't like about the Hellcat. Our number one concern is the price. This gun feels like a great value gun, but it lacks that top tier feel we've come to expect from SIG, and they're priced exactly the same. We think this gun would be more justifiable $100 cheaper. We also feel that the trigger could have been much better. It feels like a standard Glock trigger if you catch my drift. When Sig Sauer came out with their first ever subcompact pistol, the initial run had problems. Sig Sauer initiated a callback due to reported problems. A company that demands excellence resolved the problem and the second gun ran into no problems. However, a couple of months after the Gen 2, as many SIG fans call it, came out, a couple of users started posting things on social media and forums claiming that there was primer drag. Primer drag is where the face of the firing pin drags across the primer when the barrel unlocks during the firing sequence. This can cause damage and, over time, cause the firing pin to break. While it's a bit impossible to verify the validity or severity of posts on social media, Phil Strader, the product manager, responded on both SIG Forum and SIG Talk to address the so-called social media postings. Basically, he reported that after the Gen 2, there have been minimal issues with the striker and trigger return strings and thus the Gen 2 fixed all problems. Here are specifics to his response. The number of fractured striker tip returns account for 0.08% of the P365s shipped, which is well below industry average. It was found that an extremely small percentage of strikers were out of spec due to startup issues. This has been resolved. Primer drag is completely normal and has absolutely no effect on striker endurance. So with that, anything you see about the Sig Sauer P365 having a firing pin problem or issues is either false or has been resolved. Having fired my P365 hundreds of times and never seeing any problems with it, I'll have the, to wholeheartedly agree. And here's why. This was a pretty tough battle, but in the end, we had to give it to the P365. When comparing them, Two major points stood out against the Hellcat that influenced our decision. Number 1. The trigger on the Hellcat is good, but it's not great. We've come to expect more from a trigger, especially a single action one. Number 2. The Hellcat feels like a great value pistol. However, the price implies that it's anything but that. If this was priced just $100 cheaper, you'd bet that this would be one of our most recommended pistols. But it's priced the exact same as the SIG, which has a much higher quality feel to it. Enough has pretty much been said. The clear winner is the SIG Sauer P365. It was a very good competition though. Not much to say here except if you have not gotten one yet, it is probably time to invest. The SIG P365 is in a class of its own, and thousands of others agree. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video, and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give us a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys in the next one.